Welcome to hole number one of the Albatross Ball Nine Hole Cup. Now, here in this incredible looking nine hole tournament, we're playing all par fives, as you know. So I'm starting off here with an extra mile and a Titan, max top, max right. We're gonna adjust here with 10%. Now, the thing about this drive is that having longer level top spin or using more power to get the ball further down the fairway in my opinion, doesn't necessarily give you a greater opportunity here for Albatross. The thing about this second shot is that it's very repeatable, and I do recommend leaving yourself in a long iron range here. So the long iron that I use in this example here is a backbone, but you can probably execute this with almost any long iron in the game. I play here at 10% medium elevation, and we're going to give this one two bars of top spin. I've got the top of that yellow ring there, just touching the top of that dark rough line. And you just want to aim that ball guide directly at the hole. This one is such a makeable albatross. This is really going to be one of those kind of holes. It's going to be almost, a, you know, a must drop on the final round on Saturday. Just because there are some tougher holes in this tournament that we're going to have more difficulty with. And this one, as long as the winds aren't too, too crazy, is going to give us a great great chance to get this one at the hole so perfect ball you know how we roll don't forget to hit thumbs up on this video guys i want to get lots of drops for you we'll get those booms hole number two now this par five i am going to show you two different ways to play this hole it's newer um, and i think it's worth a look so max top one bar of left spin here i'm using an extra mile and a tighten ball we're playing this i would consider this a more conservative approach so just bringing it down that right hand side now depending on the wind you may need left spin or right spin but just point that ball guy down the middle of the fair fairway and i like to have kind of the red rings on either side here i'm pushing this one back up to maximum distance and i'll actually give this one a little bit of overpower you see not a whole bunch i could have given it a little bit more um, but this is a pretty long fairway and you want to give yourself as much distance as possible on the second shot i would have liked a little bit more here like i said so you just need to work with it always take your practice shots do what you can to make sure you're going to give yourself a very repeatable second shot Second shot, then you're going to be in wood range here. It looks like we're going to play a backbone from there. Now, you could bounce over. That's a very viable shot if you are not comfortable with a rough bump. I am comfortable with a rough bump, so I'm playing a minimum distance sniper rough bump here. So the adjustment that I'm making in this example with this wind is negative 20 at minimum distance. Now, you're going to see we're not quite going to make it here. That one bar of topspin is, I do believe, correct. You'll see the weight of this ball coming in very, very nicely. However, we do need to add a little bit more adjustment there. Negative 10 might have been the number, but we'll see you in the next example. All right, so hole number two, once again, this is the only hole I'm going to show you twice, okay? But it is important that you see this Zerk play. Max top, max left here with an extra mile and a Berserker ball. As you can see, I do have enough tailwind to pull this off. We're stretching it out. We've got a lot of fairway to work with down there. This is the kind of play that not everybody's going to be comfortable with, but I think this is going to be the best play for most people. So max over power. I'm, I'm giving it a little bit of left curl there. I'd say just about a half a ball or so. You do want to do your best to hit perfect and you know it's good to get this one nice and close it puts us in long iron distance which is going to be very very good so good distance on that drive nice roll big wide fairway here to work with even a great ball slight great should have been just fine now i do elect um for this second shot we're going to see max is down there min is right there and i was just about to play the rough bump here and you could do it with a runner uh short iron no excuse me with a goliath would be a much better choice um, however i decide here to play this bounce shot which i think is a very smart play for many people giving it like four and a half bars of backspin with the bottom of that yellow ring just down near just touching the rough or kind of just into it i'd say to play it maybe with five back and have that yellow ring up a little bit it all depends on the wind just don't play it too too close to the rough here okay so either way oh and the other thing is you don't necessarily need a zerk uh depending on the wind but we just have to play it according to the tournament oh just about though we'll get these when it counts we'll see you on hole number three all right so hole number three and this one as you can see on the left with a zerk my idea is is you always want to try to play over this rough if you can however with the headwind and i thought big topper uh, you know we'll play it with a top spin we'll get it over and it's just 
isn't going to be the play here for me. So I decided against it. I thought, you know what? Trying to overpower and work with that rough there. Let's play it on the right-hand side. It gives us a beautiful second shot, especially with the headwind, because we are going to have to play some of these holes in headwind. So I could have switched this back to maybe like even just like a kingmaker. But you see how with a lower level extra mile, I can play it over the rough on the right here. I do give it four and a half top to right and a little bit overpower, depending how much you push into. It's all going to depend on the wind, but this position far to the end of the right hand fairway puts us in a beautiful sniper position for the second shot. Now that second shot here, I am playing 10% max on this adjustment. We're going to give it three bars of backspin, one right spin, and I'm going to play it. Now you see two back, one right. This is what I play. I'm recommending that you play three back and one right because I do come in a little bit hot here. It's still a very simple little putt that you can just drop it in. However, if you have a tailwind here, for example, you're going to need three to four, not just two bars of backspin. So keep that in mind. This is a small green, so you want to work with that. And, you know, kind of, how to, kind of play it as it lies. So 10% there on the adjustment. Do hit perfect, whatever you do. Keep hitting perfect, baby. That's going to give you the best outcome in this tournament. That's for certain. So as you can see, not too shabby. Needed a little bit there, but we can work with it. I'll see you over on hole number four. Hole number four, and I'm honestly ashamed to admit that I've never dropped this one. I played the drive here, just two bars of top spin, max left spin, and I'm coming at it with an extra mile and a quasar. I'm not looking for massive distance on this drive. What I'm looking for is to give myself a nice sniper shot for the second shot because there's a nice funnel that you can work with on this screen. So give it that nice clean 10% adjustment, and I'm going to give this one... Tiny little bit of left curl here. Don't go too crazy because you don't want to clip the rough. Um, you want to really try to reach your drive distance on this one. So clean and easy right down the middle. It's going to set us up nicely for that second shot. Second shot, I'm playing this one at 0% max. And I'm using four bars of backspin, one left spin. You see the old side spin values? One side spin is all you're going to need to use here with the Quasar. And I'm looking for that funnel. Do you see how this funnel is? And I really thought in this example that I had the play. I've sunk this one from the second tee before, um, but it's just something about here playing it in rookie from the front tee that I have had some trouble. But you can see that that little funnel there is going to be the secret to our success here on this hole in the tournament. And you just kind of have to take your chances. And as a little bit higher wind, you could definitely play a wind uh, ball. It has a little bit more wind resistance, but hey, all in all, this gives us a very nice look at it. We're not missing by much. We're going to see some drops coming up right away. Hole number five, and you guessed it, we are playing a par five. I'm playing here extra mile in a Titan, one bar of top spin, two left spin, that red ring touching the rough right near the end of that bunker. Use that as a little bit of a guide post so that we can set this drive up consistently. I'm adjusting 10% max into this 4.5 wind, and I'm not going to give this any fancy business. No curl, no overpower, just a clean, perfect shot down the middle. Well, down the right-hand side of this large hole with many other options that you can play, but this is a consistent path for anyone from the front tee. You can play this next shot with a Viper, whatever you got in your bag, but I'm playing here with the Sniper because that's the account that I played this tournament with. And... I'm going to give it, like you said, the, like I said, backspin here. Four back, just about one left. And I do make this at a 15% max adjustment. Now, it's a little bit of an uneven landing position that we're coming in on. I think if I had a kingmaker here, I would probably for sure use more side spin and a little bit more distance on the drive. And there's a rough bump just to the left there that we could work with. So definitely some options, some things to think about. And, you know, it's kind of the fun of it, right? It's always working it out in the different conditions and making the very best of what we're given to work with. So... 15% max, clean hit here. Perfect ball, baby. That is the theme of this video. I don't want to hit anything other than perfect. Now, we did need just a little more there. 20% might have been the number or, you know, sometimes you just got to work with it. We'll see you on the next one. Hole number six then, and I'm coming once again with a Titan and an extra mile. Max top, one bar of right spin. And I'm bouncing over this rough in the middle here, or as I would say, we're going right down the middle. 
Um, the wind is reasonable for this circumstance. Of course, tailwind is basically always favorable. However, even in headwind, I'm going to take the same approach here. I might just switch it up to a kingmaker ball just to kind of cut down that secondary effect. So clean, perfect ball. Always, always, always. I want to see you hitting perfect. We're going to get that nice bounce over the hazard, rolling it out. And just getting down to the corner here is going to leave us a nice second shot with a sniper. So I played the second shot at 20 for 25% mid distance. And there is a rough bump up there that you can try to work with. Um, I did make it one time where I didn't have the video rolling. Um, but it's just not going to be the play, I think, um, for me all the time. I started to get really close with this sniper shot. I like the way it's set up. So I kind of was just working with it. That's where two and a half back, two left. And I think I can really do some damage with that. You know how it is, though. Depends how you feel. I show you some rough bump options. I show you some bounce over approaches, some conservative, some aggressive. And you're just going to have to play this course the way that you like it. So as you can see, we're coming in here just, 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 just sneaking on by the edge. But... This is the kind of thing, I like the consistency. We'll see you on the next one. Hole number seven, I truly think was put in this tournament specifically for us to all get an albatross. Max top, four and a half here and three bars of right spin with the extra mile and a kingmaker. I want to bring the kingmaker on this one because I really know and feel like as long as you can hit perfect on that second shot, you're going to have a really good chance. The funnel on this one is really good in almost all wind conditions. So make our adjustment, like I said, 10% max. No funny business, just hit it clean down the middle. Of course, the wind is very low in this example, so you have to do what you have to do to get it done when it matters. However, get it down here just before this bunker, and you're going to have a second shot with your sniper. So second shot, as you can see, negative 10% medium distance. It does play uphill in this example. Three left and like 2.3 bars of topspin. You're going to see we're going to settle in with the top of the red ring near the rough. And I want you to favor the left part of the funnel. Um, that's very important. It's going to help you to make this drop often, if not every single time. So clean adjustment, 10% mid. And just have to hit perfect here. More often than not, this one is going to make you happy, happy, happy. Boom. And I just love how dramatically long this rollout is. It's like, is it going to stop? Is it going to go? You know, baby, we're going in the hole. Let's go. We'll see you over on hole number eight. Okay, so hole number eight. We just played a kingmaker. Let's settle it down. Bring a katana. I'm going with the quarterback with max top and max right spin. So that's going to be three to four bars of top spin. Maybe more if you have a higher level one. And three bars of right spin. Adjusting the shot, like we said, 10% max. You could basically play the quarterback one-to-one. -one, but we'll make a 4.1 ring adjustment here. Just like that. Don't set this one up too close to the edge of this fairway. The steep slopes on the side. If you hit that down slope, you can really affect the trajectory of your bounce. And could put yourself in some trouble. Also, mind this bunker on the left. That half a bar, half a ball of right curl is very, very important here. So don't forget it second shot setting it up for a zero percent max sniper we're gonna do a little bit of a rough bump here about a half a bar of top spin and three bars of right spin about a half a bar maybe a little bit less about 0.3 there just kind of depending how it looks to you this is of course a nice wind to work with that 4.0 tailwind and you know you just kind of have to make the magic go your way. Sometimes in these tournaments, even in the nine hole, you know, you need a little luck to go your way. So we set this one up. Clean pull. Good to have that grid line. I do have a video on my channel if you're an iOS user and you want to make grids like this or a little bit nicer. Now, I did hit great there. So we have to compensate for that. But I can't not show you the ball going in the hole with a little 360. Let's go. We'll see you on hole nine. Hole number nine of this crazy par five nine hole tournament. Katana and a quarterback here. Three top and about two, two and a half bars of left spin. Take note of where we're setting this one up. Kind of at the front part of this bulge or this fairway peninsula or whatever the heck you want to call it. Red ring there. And we make a nice clean 10% max pull. So don't forget, guys, to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. You don't miss out on any of my future Golf Clash content. I play live 
for every single tournament. And you can also go to my webpage, ehrlichgaming.com, and I'm going to have notes for this tournament up there for free for all of you after this video. So second shot after that nice quarterback drive, we're going to look at playing a 0% max distance sniper. Now check your club distance, but this should work out pretty darn well. Giving it two bars of backspin, and I give it like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 bars of right spin. This green slopes ever so slightly from the right to left. So keep that in mind when you're setting it up. You might even have to offset slightly to the right of this cup. Um, I got half the red ring there in the rough. 0% max on your pull. Clean set up here you know you can make this one happen i know you can make this one happen you got to believe in yourself and just like these examples i need you to hit perfect baby right dead center perfect and i hope you have a great albatross a ball nine hook up tournament get in the hole baby let's go we'll see you out there good luck